You have probably solved the checkmate puzzle before, maybe even a stalemate puzzle, but have you ever seen a helpmate puzzle? In this video, I'm going to explain exactly that, and we're going to solve some fun helpmate puzzles. So usually you're, well, the standard checkmate puzzle would be something like this, in this position, white to play, checkmate in three moves, pause the video before I say the answer, three, two, one. So white plays queen d7, that's the first move, that's check. Black doesn't have anything but king h5. Queen f5, check. And now, whatever black plays, either g5 or king h6, queen g5 will be checkmate. So white made three moves and checkmated in the third. There, there was only one way to do it, right? The next puzzle, well, as I mentioned, there's a stalemate kind of puzzle in which now white has to play and make a stalemate, make a draw, because stalemate is essentially a draw. Black is up material, black is a queen. If we take the queen, rook takes f1, we're absolutely losing because, well, black doesn't even need this pawn, by the way. Black just checkmates with a king and a rook. So, you have to do something pretty miraculous, and that miraculous move is rook b8. Why is this a blunder? Isn't this a blunder, David? You're just giving away the, the rook. But the point is that now this king has nowhere to go. All the squares are covered by black's pieces. So, you can't force someone to make an illegal move, that's silly. This is stalemate, and the result is a draw. And what happens if black, uh, black doesn't take the rook, David? Well, king a7, rook b7, check. We, we're not going to take it, that's going to be the same uh, stalemate idea, so king a8, and keep checking until perpetual check, and that's another type of a draw. So, white to play, white plays rook b8 in this position and draws the game, so stalemate. Then we have helpmate puzzles. Helpmate, and this is the point of the video, by the way. Helpmate is both sides working towards the same goal. So in this case, it's black to play and helpmate in three. What does that mean? That means white will checkmate black in three moves, which is the, the quickest way to checkmate black. There's no other way. So once again, black to play, try to find a way to checkmate yourself as black. And I know it's weird, and I know that it's something unusual, but it's, you need, this is difficult. That's what I'm trying to say. This is tough. So pause the video. I'm going to say the answer. So black's first move is king c3. David, why did black not take the queen, the, the queen takes b1? Isn't that winning? It is, but that's not the point of the puzzle. The point of the puzzle is black to made itself. And I'm going to explain the benefits of doing this, by the way. You're going to say, David, that, that, that's rubbish. That's stupid. Okay, king c3 is the first move. Tough, tough one first. White plays rook h1. You're going to say, David, what is this? King b2, bishop g1. And the point is that after king a1, bishop d4, this is mate. And I repeat, this is the quickest mate. From the position that we started, uh, this is the quickest mate. Once again, black to play and help mate in three. Pause the video. Bishop a7 is the first move. Now white promotes to a bishop, and black castles. White plays bishop c4, and now, I think for those of you who are kind of enjoying the show, just pause the video here and try to figure out how does black's checkmate itself. The move is bishop b8, and now you kind of see that this king doesn't have many squares to go, and in fact, the only square can it go to is b7, but the bishop both checks and prevents that at the same time with bishop a6. And that's the quickest mate. In fact, one of the only ones because black has so many pieces, it's pretty ridiculous. Now, why is this beneficial? Why would you do this? What's the point? The point is that you have to be pretty creative to come up with these kind of solutions. And you, you, yeah, this is difficult. You have to work with both sides. You're allowed to make moves with both white and black. And good luck with these. I mean, I tried the first one. I took long time it's tough it's tough believe me and it's going to improve your chess in terms of fantasy thought which is an actual term uh fantasy fantasy thinking hypothetical thinking and yeah let me know what you think about this um let me know if i messed up the explanations i'm happy to pin your comment if it's very useful for it for the rest of the people um let me know if you have any favorite helpmate puzzles maybe send them to me and i'm happy to show them to the channel thank you very much for watching subscribe give a like I would really appreciate it and have a nice day.